since this is such an important point, I asked David Barton to explain further the differences between a republic and a democracy. Listen. So what is the difference between a republic and a democracy? Well, very simply, a democracy is simple majority rule. Whatever 51% of the nation wants, that's what it gets. Now, a republic is quite different. A republic is defined as the rule of a nation on the basis of unchanging law. That was given by John Locke. It was also given in Blackstone's commentaries on the law, which this was the legal textbook that we used in America for 160 years. From 1766 till 1920, this provided the basis of, of republic. This was our definition. And it pointed out that in a republican form of government, those things on which God had already legislated, man was not free to legislate. It said, for example, in the specific case of murder, man can pass no law on murder other than that which God has passed. God has said everything that needs to be said about murder. Therefore, in a republic, it didn't matter if 75% or 89% of the people wanted to abolish murder. In a republic, it would always be murder because in the scriptures, it's always murder. You see, the legal textbooks pointed out the basis of republic was the unchanging law of the Bible. Now, they also pointed out that in our form of government, we had many things that our legislature was free to act on. Again, the law book said specifically, it said, in the instance of importing and exporting wool. The Bible says nothing about how to import and export wool. Our legislature can do what it wishes with importing and exporting wool. You see, it was very simple. We are basically a democratic republic. We can decide what we want in certain areas, but with the view of the Founding Fathers as a republic, a Bible-based republic, there were certain rights and wrongs that would always stand. Murder, uh, rape, all these things that are listed in the Ten Commandments and in so many Old Testament laws would always be wrong. And that's why we were a republic and not a democracy. It was not up to the whim of the people. You see, Benjamin Rush called a democracy a mobocracy. He said they can get on whims, they can go off on a tangent, and in one vote they can abolish everything that we've done. He said we are not that type of government. And that's why they gave us a republic and not a democracy.